Late last night, Iran confirmed that it unintentionally shot down Flight 752. This is an extremely serious matter. Canada and the world still have many questions, questions that must be answered. Earlier this morning, I spoke with President Rouhani of Iran. I told him that Iran's admission that its own armed forces unintentionally shot down Flight 752 is an important step towards providing answers for families, but I noted that many more steps must be taken. A full and complete investigation must be conducted. We need full clarity on how such a horrific tragedy could have occurred. Families are seeking justice and accountability, and they deserve closure. I reiterated to President Rouhani that it is absolutely necessary that Canada participate in this investigation. We expect the full cooperation of Iranian authorities. Currently, three visas have been approved for members of the Standing Rapid Deployment Team. We expect that the lead members of this team will arrive in Tehran around 4 p.m. today and establish a presence on the ground to support Canadian families. Additional team members will follow. We're working with our partners who are facilitating the process by which visas are granted. And currently, the Iranians are cooperating in granting visas. Lors de mon appel avec le président Rouhani, j'ai également condamné les, irani les frappes iraniennes menées en Irak qui ont mis en danger la vie de nos membres qui combattent Daesh ainsi que ceux de la coalition. J'ai également répété l'appel du Canada à la déescalation des tensions ainsi que notre engagement à assurer la paix et la sécurité dans la région. Is it, a, it is at times of tension like these that tragedies like this crash can happen, causing great loss of innocent life. President Rouhani's response to me was a commitment to collaborate to give closure to the victims, de-escalate tensions in the region, and continue this dialogue. Our focus remains accountability, transparency, and justice for the families and loved ones of the victims. As Minister Champagne said yesterday, our government is taking additional steps to provide more support to those grieving. I've asked the Clerk of the Privy Council to set up an emergency task force, which convened earlier today. Additionally, consular and immigration officials have been dispatched across the country so that they can be in direct contact with the families of Canadians affected by this tragedy. Minister Mendicino has set up an emergency line to ensure that officials from Immigration Canada are available to help with any visa issues. Le ministre Champagne et moi-même continuons d'être en contact avec tous autres ordres de gouvernement pour faire en sorte que les familles reçoivent le soutien dont elles ont besoin. J'ai parlé à tous les chefs de l'opposition ainsi que plusieurs premiers ministres des provinces affectées. Lorsque les Canadiens traversent de grandes difficultés, ils se montrent solidaires les uns avec les autres. Face à la tragédie, nous avons su être là pour nos voisins, nos communautés et nos concitoyens. Je sais que cet élan de compassion apporte du réconfort à ceux et celles qui ont perdu un proche à la suite de cette tragédie. Mais sachez que notre gouvernement n'arrêtera pas d'exiger des réponses aux questions qui persistent. Nous serons là, je serai là, pour veiller à ce que la lumière soit faite sur ces événements bouleversants. I remain in close contact with our partners, as are my ministers. Last night, I spoke to Prime Minister Abe of Japan, who is on his way to the Middle East. And I will soon be speaking again with Ukrainian President Zelensky and Swedish Prime Minister Lovven. Minister Champagne has been in touch with his counterparts from Iran, Switzerland, Turkey, Sweden, and Ukraine, in part to discuss progress on issuing visas for our teams. He will also reconvene a second call of the International Coordination and Response Group for the Families of Victims of PS752 to coordinate our response for the families together with representatives from Ukraine, Sweden, Afghanistan, and the United Kingdom, who are also grieving. Le ministre Garneau s'est également entretenu avec les autorités françaises 
plus tôt aujourd'hui. Je vous assure que toutes ces discussions se poursuivent. I want to end by sharing with you a bit of what I did yesterday. I had a chance to sit with some of the families of the victims. They are hurt, angry, and grieving. They want answers. They want justice. What Iran has admitted to is very serious. Shooting down a civilian aircraft is horrific. Iran must take full responsibility. Canada will not rest until we get the accountability, justice, and closure that the families deserve. 